Welcome back everybody. Another very windy day here for most of the state. If it's not windy where you are right now, it will be. But uh, how many other people had bushes or crab apple trees uh, knocked over here? Uh, Helena, the wind still kind of waiting to ramp up. If you were to go up on McDonald Pass, the wind is howling up there, but uh, just the atmospheric conditions are so that the wind is not coming down into the valley like it was yesterday. But wait, it is coming and nice to see that rain out there right now. Looking at the high Wood Mountains. We've had some showers in the Great Falls area, 55 degrees. And if you want to know how windy it is, just uh, call somebody up in Great Falls. Southwest winds gusting to 44 miles per hour. A little cooler up here where we've had some rain in the northern and northwest part of the state. A little warmer the farther south and east you go. There's the wind. Mile City come, Glasgow not too bad, Jordan not too bad, Haver not too bad, but again, this wind will really start to ramp up as we've got a front that will be moving down into the state here. You can kind of see on the computer model how a lot of the eastern part of the state uh, not dealing with so much wind and yeah, just a little uh, void of wind in the valley locations around town, uh, Townsend and Helena, but that wind is going to ramp up with the uh, pressure changes that are about to happen with the front coming through. Windy tonight, windy tomorrow, windy on Thursday as well. It we might get a little break Wednesday night into Thursday, but here we go uh, Thursday looking at uh, yet another day with some pesky wind. Uh, but the storm is doing wonders here for the fire danger here in the state. The Yogo fire saw snow yesterday, a little rain and snow on that fire. But how about uh, like the Bridger Foothills fire and the Drumming fire and the Estate Creek fire, all seeing precipitation, which will help us get us closer to the end of a fire season. Look at the rain coming down Lewis and Clark County west of the Continental Divide. Check out the lightning strikes. That's with the cold front that will be coming through here in just a few hours. North central Montana, still some snow up on top of Teton Pass, some rain breaking down off of the Rocky Mountain front. Boy, a nice rainy day, Judith Basin County, Fergus County, Shoto County. And look at all that rain now, solid rain up around the Glasgow area, working its way east on the High Line. And uh, yeah, the storm just moving into the state here. It's going to affect a lot of Montana for tomorrow as well. The yellows indicating where we could have a few claps of thunder with the front going through here. So maybe even Cascade County, Judith Basin County a little later on this evening through the overnight hours. A lot of the precipitation ending with the exception of snow in the mountains. But look at Wednesday, a little more in the way of mixed rain and snow in the lower elevations, snow in the mountains and Wednesday afternoon could see some banding setting up, which may allow for a brief little accumulation of a couple inches of snow, even in the lower elevations. So the roads could be a little slick. Mountain passes will be slippery as we go through Wednesday and still a few mixed uh, rain and snow showers, depending on elevation heading into Thursday. And oh yeah, there will be more wind. There's the snow. Check out Glacier and the missions here, uh, the little belts, the big snow is picking up a healthy amount of snow, maybe more than six inches in some places, but uh, rain going over to snow, Browning, Bab, East Glacier here tonight, rain showers, wind, thunderstorms potentially here throughout a lot of the central eastern part of the state, even around Helena, snow levels dropping down the continental divide. And here's the forecast for tomorrow, mixed rain and snow showers in the lower elevations with snow in the mountains, a cooler day, highs only in the 40s to around 50 degrees. Very, very windy tonight and also tomorrow. Thursday, a little more sunshine, still on the cool side and still a lot of wind. Uh, maybe a couple of mixed rain and snow showers. And then here's the complicated storm this weekend. Friday, this storm approaches late in the evening hours and this front will come through Friday night into Saturday morning, Saturday morning, waking up to a good amount of snow. Now, does this front stall out? Does it continue to push down towards the south? That's what they pay me the big bucks for. I'll figure that out here as we get a little closer, but a lot of uncertainty with that weekend storm and for Helena. There you can see the unsettled weather the next few days and at the very least this weekend. I want you to prepare for a much colder and snowier situation, at least into Saturday. We'll have to wait and see if more snow falls Sunday into Monday and Great Falls. Very windy, a little warmer Friday before the big weekend storm. Still ahead, a social media group all about loving Montana has members from